Hi everyone, it's me, Johanna. I am back for another video. I know, uh, <laughs> I'm posting again. Hopefully this goes up. Uh, I thought about, hey, I kind of want to do a video. What should the video be about? Um, and I had no idea then. Recently I started watching some videos that were recommended on sort of my For You page on YouTube. I don't know, it's not the homepage. Is it the homepage? You guys can tell me, <laughs> I forget. Um, as always, I'm filming on my phone. Um, so I'm not able to look it up right away, but I watched the YouTuber, she just do, she was doing a tour of her house or, or her property that she purchased and she had mentioned that she had not posted in a year and so she was new to me, so I was just watching that video, I had no idea that she had not posted in a year, but I can easily understand why time just passes and especially if you have a lot of things going on in your life or emotionally, you know, it's you know posting a video is probably like it's it's challenging um and then you have to think about what you're gonna do and i definitely i, I on instagram i've been having a lot of fun putting outfits together um that's something that i've been enjoying as i've been like just working working on some house projects i just did basically removed all the grass in my backyard I hired um someone to do that and reseeded and all this other stuff there was some stuff eating something and some chemicals were put down and so hopefully I have a green lawn um, for this season. Um, usually I would see it and do a whole bunch of stuff myself and then it would be green until like middle of June and then the grass would start dying. So hopefully this year that will not happen. I mean I paid for that not to happen and I also put down the deposit for my pool liner and it's been ordered and if everything goes okay through the season, the spring season, I will have a pool liner uh, early June, mid by mid June, um, a new pool liner. So that's exciting to look forward to as well. I talked about it in my last video, which I appreciate you guys watching if you have watched it. Uh, I think we have a few new subscribers as well. So I'm over to 500 subscribers, which is pretty amazing and um, pretty cool. I, every single time uh, I get a notification, somebody does something, someone subscribed. I'm always kind of like, oh my God, someone's watching my videos and subscribing to me. That's awesome. And I really, really thank you guys as well. I would, was thinking of doing uh, just a short little video. I don't know how short it's going to be. You know, I talk a lot if you watch my other videos, but um, I've recently been purchasing a couple of new things from Essence, um, which is a Canadian retailer. So it's essence.com. It's not spelled like, typical essence um what is this spelled like typical essence <laughs> i'll put it in the link below if you guys want to check out the website um i came about the website i think through instagram or someone on youtube linked something and i went to the website and all of a sudden i was went on a little hole of like oh look this is pretty cool stuff i've been thrifting a lot uh, as i shared in the last video um, mostly Savers is like my number one thrift place right now and where I am in New England, it's not like the best thrifting. Um, so Savers, that's pretty cool stuff. I actually just um, got this Oscar de la Renta um, blazer, which was so nice, which is so nice. Maybe I'll show you guys now. I'm gonna cut it now and I'll show you. So I guess this video is gonna be a little bit of a haul of some things that I picked up recently, including some thrifted items. Um, well, I think the main thrifted item is this Oscar de la Renta um, blazer. As you guys can see, it's a little worn. It's um, kind of this houndsooth pattern. Um, it's this brown color. Um, it's made in Colombia. Um, the inside is super nice. It feels so soft. And um, yeah, it fits me really well. I think I... Well, I I put in our recent picture on my Instagram, if you follow me at Johanna Vale, it's the same as my YouTube. Um, and I like this blazer, I know I'm gonna use it a lot. I'm kind of blazer obsessed now. <laughs> and I think I have over, well, close to 10 blazers, including some of the soup blazers that I already had. So it's not too, too obsessed. I had to like keep it cool. Like the next one that I'm looking to buy, I have a cashmere black blazer that I found at savers as well i don't know if i mentioned in my last video but i'll show you guys that one too i'll show you that in a second now okay so i'm actually wearing the blazer as you guys can see here uh, it fits me really well it's 100 percent cashmere i got it for 12.99 at savers it's from brooks brothers and 
it's really nice and soft, but obviously it's a little bit warm. Um, so I'm looking potentially to get, or in the hunt to get a blazer that's kind of fitted like this or somewhat like this and black. I have kind of oversized blazers that are some, has some black elements to them. I also have an oversized blazer that has a big padded shoulder that's a Missoni blazer that I got from the Real Real, which is primarily the place I thrift male fashions um, on the Real Real. But uh, you know, when you look at savers, you really are finding a great deal at savers. With the Real Real, their shipping is like 11 bucks. When you ship back, it's not free. So if something's not like it is in person, or sorry, like an in person, like it is on the website, you kind of are eating up a little bit with what you paid because you have to be for shipping. I don't know if they changed that recently. Maybe they did, but the last time I ordered something, it did not change. So I really love this blazer. I'm like obsessed. Like it just suits me so well. And sometimes when you find something that fits you well, you're like, oh, should I get it? Should I get it? Just get it. Just get it. You're not gonna regret it. If, especially if it's 12 bucks like this thing was. So I, I do definitely do not regret it. I'm so happy that I, uh, I got it. And I know it's superficial, I know, but it's the little things that bring us joys in life. So, you know, this brings me joy. It's just it's how soft it is. So I'll show you guys a couple things that I got, uh, maybe some new in things that I got from Essence, like I mentioned. I just went into a little thrifting situation and I want to show you these blazers because I really like them as well. Have a little bit of an unboxing. Um, first one on my channel. Um, so these glasses I ordered from Essence, as I mentioned, I made a couple orders from there over the past couple months. Couple reasons why I feel like I want to buy higher quality stuff. Um, I've been able to save some money. I'm really grateful to be in a place where. I can save up a little bit and buy a more conscious item. Um, and that's just buy a pair of glasses for $50. Obviously, if you're in the financial circumstances where that's what you can get, that's what you can get. I don't shame anyone for that. That's just, for me personally, I want to do certain things and that's me personally. Um, doesn't mean I'm perfect and everything. Doesn't mean I'm like this green, save the earth, you know, situation and everything on the thing that I do, I think, we're all a work in progress in some way when it comes to that. So these sunglasses are plastic, yes, but um, there's a synergy between the fact that they're handmade in Italy um, from what I understand based on what I was able to look up in the website. Um, so these glasses are from Retro Super Future, come in a box like this, it's a recyclable box. And we'll cut to me opening the rest of it. When you open up the box, this is what you look like, what it looks like. Um, again, it's from Essence. It's the Essence label in the back. When you open it, you have this um, case with the glasses inside. Um, and this case is actually, it feels pretty soft. I've already opened these glasses, really. Um, but I just put it back in the packaging. Um, yeah, I, it's, you know, it's really soft. It's the, f the finest since, um, fi wait, the finest since 2007. Eyewear handmade in Italy. So it's a claim that they make in the packaging as well. Um, and just bear with me one second. There's some wrapping here to remove. So these are the glasses. What I wanted, so one thing to know about me is that I have a big head. So. <laughs> Um, typically glasses, if I, if they make sense in the center of my face, it typically, they typically are maybe a little too tight and I know that I can get different sizes, but when you, when I get the next size up, I don't really like the look in front of my face area. Um, obviously in front of my face, <laughs> but I wanted these glasses because they were a little bit oversized and they had a cool shape and they're trendy, but not trendy. Meaning that they look like classic black glasses, but with a little bit of an edge, which is sort of what I wanted, not sort of, it's what I wanted. Um, so I'll try this on now and you guys can see what they look like. What's it? Let me see. Are they, are they bended or something? Okay. So this is what the glasses look like on. What do you guys think? I have asked a few people, I asked, I put a poll on Instagram and about 90% of 
people said to keep them uh, as my best friend. He said they look good. The funny thing is that because obviously, not the funny thing is, but you have a different um, shape face. Um, it kind of looks like a completely different pair of glasses sometimes on people. So I tried them on a couple of my friends and yeah, I like them. I like them. I think they look cool. And again, they're more sustainably remained um, and they're a little conscious without being completely, I get them on Essence when they had a 15% off for spring, summer 2022. So um, they were less than $200 when I bought this. So they're like, you know, handmade in Italy, really high quality, but they're not the overpriced, super overpriced that a lot of the big brands have um, their sunglasses for. So yeah, these are the sunglasses. Tell me what you guys think down below. You guys might not like them because of the shape. Um, and obviously I'm doing it on camera and I haven't done a video with these glasses on. I haven't had a chance to <laughs> wear them out too long, too much or at all because I'm mostly inside my house, to be honest with you, working in them. I hope that as spring really gets into momentum and um, things are blooming, the sun is shining longer outside um, and into the summer, I'll be able to wear these glasses actually throughout the whole year. Um, that's the hope. That's why I bought them in black. Um, for them to be in a classic sort of style. Oh, and by the way, these the glasses name is Teddy. <laughs> um, so if you guys are looking to get a pair. Uh, but yeah, those are the glasses. I have something else for you. Um, the next thing I have is this puffer coat that I got from Essence as well. So I've been thinking for a while, for a while, it's more like the, more than a year um, I'm getting a puffer coat with a hoodie on. I have a puffer coat now that I've been using for a very, very, very long time for, I think like seven years. <laughs> um, and it's a coat that I got at Macy's from Calvin Klein back in like 2015. Um, and it doesn't have a hoodie. And I wanted something a little bit more figure hugging or it, more something I don't know, I just wanted something that was suited my type of body a little closer to my body. Um, the other one was a little bit oversized on um, my waist. And I also wanted a jacket that was sustainably made, um, made of recycled materials, um, preferably. And then I um, encountered this jacket while scrolling on Essence. Um, and this jacket is from, or coat is from, or puffer coat, puffer jacket. You guys tell me. <laughs> um, it's from Axel Origato. Um, this is the logo here in the front. Um, it has nice zip pockets. Uh, it has the hoodie, like I said, and it has these little things to close the hoodie up. I like the black zipper. A lot of jackets or puffer jackets actually have a silver zipper, and I don't like that <laughs> on, on it. Um, myself, personally, my preference. And the jacket. Tells you in the inside, this jacket is made of 100% reprocessed down and 100% recycled polyester. So it's a pretty sustainable um, puffer jacket and it's made, where is it made? Um, hmm, hold on. I know some people like to know where things are made. Um, so it's actually made in China. So but it's made out of recycled materials. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I was looking for in a jacket. I was thinking about getting a Patagonia puffer coat, but the colors that I want actually sell out fairly often. It's pretty hefty uh, for the style that I wanted as well because it was like $230, $250. I got this jacket for 180 something dollars up to 50% off on S's. I think that was the sale or no, did I get it? No, it was just on sale and it cost me like, maybe not, it wasn't 187. I'm thinking about the glasses were 187. I think this jacket was like 160. Um, and I thought it was a pretty good deal. The fact that it's made out of recycled materials and it's the style that I was looking for and it looks like it fitted the model pretty close to their body. And when I got it, I tried it on and it's great. I like the way it fits. Um, and I also, it's pretty warm. I wore, I've worn it out. Um, I haven't stopped wearing it out through this transitional period from winter to, to spring. And here in New England, it's not really consistently warm, really till I would say a couple of weeks or a week before 4th of July. So, you know, we'll be between the 40s and 60 something for the next couple months, really. That's just realistic. 
So I definitely would recommend this puffer coat if you're looking for something slightly similar. Something that's made of, out of cinema materials or recycled materials um, and in the black style with this pattern here in the front and also the side pockets um, have the design. You see that here where there's like an arch. I don't know if you can see that or if the exposure is kind of blowing things up. But this is designed here in the front and there's little zippers on each one of the pockets. And uh, I recommend it. I, I like this jacket a lot. So if you're looking for um, something that fits you sort of like a Patagonia and it's made out of recycled materials, I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something for next fall winter. I'm the kind of person who buys fall winter stuff when fall winter is ending um the season and i'm going to buy for next year because i'm going to buy a majority of my things out on sale uh, <laughs> and that's how i kind of switch over most of the time from buying new items i'm trying to get them on sale for the next season after when one is ending so i also want to mention that essence doesn't just sell unique <laughs> um brands or brands that i've never heard of or encountered before um they also sell nike and i got a basic i have been working from home especially you know in the winter i'm always like oh i'm cold so i end up using the same stuff and obviously it's the same stuff every day um same fleece same jacket it kind of you know sometimes smells to be honest with you um and i thought of buying another basic and this is just something that you can put on really quickly Put a jacket over it dress it up a little bit um but i just got these nike hoodies um they're pullover hoodies and they're just nice and soft they're lined in the inside with fleece um and they're really warm and comfortable and it fits you pretty well and i'm pretty short so i like it that it comes just uh on my waistline it doesn't go too above or too below my waistline um it's just yeah for, for, proportionally it, it looks good on me and i recommend it first clothing item that i bought the it's been in jordan it's soft two things with shopping online is really hard why i think rick and mortar is coming back you shop online and you can't touch the materials you can't feel the fabric how thick it is how soft it is you get it at home and you're like oh this is not this looks all right and or it looks exactly like it looks on the website but it doesn't feel great. And you are not gonna wanna wear an item that doesn't feel great over and over and over again. I feel like you should want things in your wardrobe they're gonna wear forever. I recently posted something on Instagram about like this beige or, that's beige, but a neutral outfit that I had on um, with some khakis and a jacket that I've had for years now um, and a thrifted shirt and loafers that I've had for over five years, right? those are items that i had forever and i'm still making outfits out of them because i really like those items and yeah I, I just think that if you buy essentials you're gonna wear for a long time you want them to feel good and going to a brick and mortar store is actually worth the time honestly um and i also like that the nike sand is embroidered i don't like buying um i don't like buying a hoodie that doesn't have something embroidered anymore because you wash it again through time the thing is going to come off of it um if it's just printed on they never you know if you're out using it all the time they're never gonna remain just like something that's embroidered i also bought that hoodie in black as well that's how much i like that hoodie and um i got both of the items on sale on essence so they have Brands you've heard of before and brands you've never heard of before as well. So if you want to scroll through Essence, this is not an ad, by the way. This is, you know, I'm someone with, you know, I'm a small little channel. I'm just sharing with you guys because I didn't know about Essence before and I did not know about some of these brands before. And I thought I found a couple items that I really liked. So yeah, if you guys want to check out the website, feel free to do that at your own time. Of course, you can create a wish list, which I have a ton of things on my wish list because I did end up creating a profile. And you can save up, you know, if you have an more expensive items, um, like I want a couple of Jack Moose um, items and they're not ultra, 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 you know, extreme luxury, but they might cost $300, 400 What does that mean? Maybe I can set aside $50 for the next few months and all of a sudden, four months later, or, oh my God, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, six months, 
and eight months later i'm able to buy something that's a couple hundred dollars to four hundred dollars you guys get what i'm saying if you want something really bad you can try to make it work and save up a little bit i know this video is again surrounded about objects and not everybody likes that but i enjoy watching that kind of content and that's the kind of content i also want to create as well so if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel i really appreciate it feel free to share the video with anybody else that who might enjoy my content and i really again appreciate your time for subscribing and watching the video um but yeah hopefully i film another video soon thank you so much for your time have a great day evening morning whenever you're watching weekend have a great one i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye